congratulations on the series. What do you think is the very British fascination behind uh, looking at things that go on behind very expensive closed doors? Well, I, I don't know what the British thing is with that. Just I can only speak about myself. I'm always fascinated. You know, like all the restaurants behind you. I, it, it's like what's the veneer and what's the real story of how it all gets made. You know, I, I, or hotels that it all looks incredible out front, or theatres, you know, we put on these shows and the interesting things happen backstage, so I can only speak for myself. I always really like to see where, where the action's happening. With Guy, he always creates such a range of characters and such, in some ways, outrageous stories, but they always still manage to feel authentic. Is that something that you felt with I your character? Think so, yes, and I think that there is a lot of authenticity in this. I haven't actually seen it yet, so I, I will watch. It's one episode tonight, right? So I'll, I'll just see the first one tonight. Netflix were very kind and they sent them to me, but I haven't had time to see them yet. So it's cold and I, my nose is running. Yeah. Just lastly, what do you think the difference is with the, the long form storytelling of having a series like this against the normal? Guy Ritchie film that you would just get done in two hours. I, I, I'm personally a huge fan of the long forms because the story gets drawn out. It's like the novel as opposed to the short story. Well, congratulations again and thank you so much for speaking to us. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys! <laughs> hey You Guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys!